to welcome you to my channel um, thank you for stopping in today and I would like to share these fabric and lace journals that I created and I got a lot of inspiration from various youtubers and wanted to try to incorporate Things that I like and create one of these journals so here I am sharing with with you one of the journals that I created so um, this journal is constructed out of recycled material I use a cardboard box to form the book cover and just added some lace and some fabric these are all um, various scraps that I had in my stash. So I'm trying to use everything that I have um, without having to go out and buy any extra supplies. Um, this is one of the lace and tool flowers that I created a while back that I found in my stash. And then these are some silk flowers that I added with this ribbon rosette. So let's get into the journal. So I made this tie by using fabric as well as um, some ribbon. And here is the inside. So I adhered this rose trim that has pearls in it um this is from hobby lobby and then i added some vintage lace on in the background here and i used my favorite glue which is the um aileen's tacky glue and let me share with you the glue that i have so this is the glue that i use and I really like this glue as it's it's really good quality and I like that it really adheres everything. So it's it's good for paper crafting, fabric, and I think just about anything. Um it dries clear, it's ultra strong based on what is stated here on the label. And what's nice is you could get the small bottles that are about that big from Dollar Tree. So if you're looking to try a new glue, um, I highly recommend Aileen's Original Tacky Glue. So back to the book. So I created these pages that I stitched in. And what I did is I used all sorts of scrap papers that I had. So some of it is scrapbook paper, old book pages, part of a doily, um, printables that I had printed that I never used. Here's another scrap paper. And what's nice is that you could just decorate your pages however you want. So it doesn't matter if there's any background on it because you could always cover it up to whatever you like. And then here is scrapbook paper. And then I also use some transparency. Oops, here's some embroidery floss. That's what I use to, to stitch it this embroidery floss and I did the three hole pamphlet stitch and it's very easy to do more vellum transparency paper and 
and then just some white copy paper I added in or this is actually scrapbook paper sorry a doily book pages that I added some vintage photo ink on it here's the copy paper that I use and here's one signature and then I added a second signature using the same type of papers using a three hole um, pamphlet stitch and then I printed these and these are all scraps as I said some of them I might have printed the printables and it was upside down or was wrong so as you can see this one is upside down so no big deal you could always cover it and just some scrapbook paper that I rip I do that a lot because I use it in my journal different pieces book page from a botanical garden book gift wrap I love this one um not sure who did this design I think it may be antique papery I love her designs um and I purchased that a while back on Etsy it's so pretty and then I love this floral wrapping paper. I bought that a while back at TJ Maxx. So as you can see, all the pages are different sizes. And you could just start creating your journal. And then here again, I added some vintage lace and the rose trim I got from Hobby Lobby. And when I made the um, tie, I just added the fabric added the ribbon to it and then you could just tie it like this i just tie it whoops like this you could tie it in a bowl but i just do it one one loop and then like this and then bring it through and then like that and that's it that's my first book that i made it's very cute and very shabby chic -y, Um, just the style that I like. And I'll share with you my next one that I did. This is a mini fabric journal. And this one is super adorable. I just love this one. It's super tiny. It fits in the palm of your hand. And I use once again some lace that I had in my stash and these bead trim, this rosette, and then added these little rosettes to it and these little buttons and lace. And then this is the back side of it. Added this purple trim and more lace. I just layered it to give it, you know, some dimension. And this gold um, trim. And then I added this iridescent bow. So I used another tie closure. And this is using some fabric. And it kind of reminded me of the sari silk that a lot of people are using. So I figured, oh, I could just, you know, make a strip of that and use it as a tie enclosure. So that's what I did. <clears throat> and I ended up making two signatures in this one. And this is the inside of the book. And I added this lace here. This is where I have the enclosure. And then I added more lace here. And more lace here and different trim. As you could see, it's just a variation of different laces and trims. So here's the first um, signature. Once again, using scrap paper and printables and doilies, just stuff I had in my stash. This is wrapping paper. So they're all different sizes. And I also used the vellum transparency. I love the vellum. 
in the botanical pages. More printables. Sometimes when I put do the corners, they don't punch all the way. So wrapping paper. And then this was cute. This was from Digital Collage um, Club. And it was um, part of the Easter journal. And I just used some of that. So it's really cute. I like all the pages. This one is probably one of my favorite journals that I've made so far because it's so little. Antique papery. Another lace doily. And then I use a greeting card for this signature. And I stitched these all in here by hand. Oopsie. Okay. Botanical pages. So they're all different sizes. It's There's no rhyme or reason on how I put these together. I just kind of put it all together based on what I had on hand. And I love this one too, with the butterflies. And as you can see, this is where I stitch it using embroidery floss and the three hole pamphlet stitch. Pretty wrapping paper. And what's cool is you could actually do um, like some tippins and always extend, you know, your pages. And those are always fun to do, the tip and pages. So as you can see, there's a lot of pages, lots of room to journal and add photos or whatever you would like. And here's the back of it with the fabric. And then I just tie it closed by tying it into a bowl. like this so this is really cute and this will fit perfectly in your purse and you could always you know do some journaling on the go when you don't want to carry a lot of stuff and then just tuck in your pen so let me see here I have one of my pens here this is one of my lamb, my Lamy pens that I just purchased. This is one of my my favorite pens now. See, so you could just tuck it like that. Well, that's it for today, and I do have some things that I want to share in another video, and I hope to get that posted soon. I'm rather behind, and I've missed you guys, and. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great day. Bye.